Hello brewers and lab nerds. Today I'm going to show you how to do an SO2 test. You're going to check how much free SO2 is in a wine sample, mead sample, or even a beer sample. So it's a little bit backwards because I haven't made the video to explain why you're using SO2, how much you can use and all that, but uh, we'll get to that later. Essentially, SO2 is an um, antioxidant, so you can add it in to your beer or wine or mead after the fact to make the shelf, um, shelf life longer. All right, I already made this video once and it was very long and very boring, so I've already prepared the, the different the glasses here. This is a test made by more beer, I think it's called MT140, I'll verify that. What you're gonna have is two different Erlenmeyer flasks, 125 milliliters, connected to these two hoses and a pump. The pump is gonna uh, pump air into the wine, which is gonna be mixed with phosphoric acid. When phosphoric acid uh, hits the wine, it releases the free SO2. The SO2 then will go through this hose into this reaction uh, liquid. The reaction liquid has already been prepared and I'll go into what is in there. But what happens is that the uh, SO2 will form an acid when it hits the reaction solution. And later we'll be able to see how much acid was uh, created in there by bringing it to the same pH and the same color. All right, so let's go through the steps. Step one is that you start with your reaction liquid. You're gonna pipette in uh, a total of, let's see here, just make sure I get it right, 10 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, 3% is the same one you buy in the store. It comes in the kit as well. Into that 3% hydrogen peroxide, you're gonna add six drops of an SO2 indicator. Essentially, it's just a, a pH indicating solution that has a very narrow band. So when you're at a pH of five, and uh, less, it's gonna be very dark purple and it gets, or pink to purple. When it gets to five, it immediately changes color over to gray. So you can see my pH probe is in there right at five right now. Once you have the uh, six drops into the hydrogen peroxide, you add 40 milliliters of distilled water. So you're gonna have a total of 50 milliliters in the container at this point, plus the six drops. From there, you're gonna add this other solution that comes with it, sodium hydroxide, until the color changes from this purple to a gray, or right at that corner, or at the, at the intersection of those two, and that correlates with a pH of five. So if you have a pH meter, use that. If you, if you actually, if you, do have one, you don't even need the indicating solution. I'm just adding that so that you can see it. And that's it for that one. It is done. Once you get to that pH of five and that transition color, then you start with the other selection or other glass. Here you're gonna pipette in 20 mil milliliters of your wine or mead sample. Into that sample, we're gonna add 10 milliliters of phosphoric acid at 25% strength. So it's not very strong. As soon as you do that, you'll start release that SO2. So you need to cap it right away and then we'll turn on the pump, let it run for exactly 15 minutes. That's why I have a timer here. We'll get the timer set up, 15 minutes. We can plug in the pump because I have it turned off here. There we go. Take out the pH probe. We'll use that later. We'll pipette that 10 milliliters of phosphoric acid. Here we go. And as soon as we get it in here, we cap it and get our timer going. There we go. Try to get it right in the center so it's not being wasted on the edges. Okay, SO2 is being released, it goes from there into our reaction chamber. But just to help it along, the pump is there just to aerate it 
So now we just open up this little thumb screw here. Hopefully you can see that. So that it will start bubbling in both. And as soon as that starts, we're going to start a timer for 15 minutes. Alright, we'll be back to see how it's going. 